Hi, my name is Wet Melons and you can call me Miss Melons. And today I'm coming to you with a how I make my TikToks video. If you have been following my new TikTok, um, well, it's not a new one, it's actually an old one that I've gone back to, but Online Girl got deleted. Um, so I, like, it got banned or whatever. So I started posting on Wet Melons number two again and I've started making much better content high quality filmed on the camera um it's not anything the videos aren't anything special but i think being the high quality that they are they just look so much better so i thought today i will show you how i make them so obviously consists of me getting dressed and stuff oh well ready for the video which is like makeup hair which i haven't done just yet but hair, makeup, and then sorting out my outfits, which I bought a bunch of um, outfits that are like specifically for TikToks, to be honest. Um, they're all just like ones that like show cleave or like showcase my boobs without them being fully out there. So it's still like somewhat appropriate. And then, yeah, I just have them all in a box. When I go in there and choose which ones I want to film in. But I'm just setting up the camera right now, watch the tripods, because I will be in fact filming on this camera. So what I do is set up the camera tripod, which I have set like this, so I can have the camera in this way, so it's portrait. Because I could film it like this and then crop it in, but this way you just get the full quality picture rather than cutting it in this way, if that makes any sense. I'll rather just film it like this. So I set it up like that and then I get the ring light because I just feel like I could do natural light. I have been filming these at night time, so it has been dark. But yeah, I said I could be filming these in the natural light, but I feel like there's something about the ring light that just makes the quality look so much better. So now that is all set up and there is not much more I do other than pop the camera in right there and then get filming but first I'm going to show you what outfits I'm going to be recording in today. A big chunk of these TikToks are like me in a big baggy shirt or me covered up and then bouncing into something else so I'll probably stick with this one or I do have just my black dressing gown and then here is my box full of TikTok outfits and I do have this really cute little like florally one that I could wear today I'm also I'm definitely wanting to wear I have this set which is just a orange top and these little orange shorts so i'm definitely wearing that one and then let me see i'm thinking of maybe a dress or something which will be in my spare bedroom so let's go grab that i just picked out this nice brown dress so then to find out what i want to do i basically ooh, quite bright i basically scroll down tiktok and i find audios and then i save the audios and then i basically go in and when i'm recording you'll see i'll do like a little i'll do i'll, I'll like time lapse it but i basically because as i said they're like me jumping from this to this and i'm not gonna go in and keep on changing so what i do is i get all the audios and i play them and I do what I need to do, say it's in this one, there's some that I'll just be in them outfits for, but then, you know, most of them are me like bouncing from this one to another one. So what I basically do is I yeah, record the first part and it's like typically about five minutes long and I do it multiple times, like loads of times, because when I first started doing them, which is only about five days ago, when I first started doing them, I basically was unhooking the camera and, put, and like it was just so much work, like, it was a lot, so I thought, just do it multiple, multiple times, so then I don't have to keep on going back and forth, so now I've kind of mastered it, and I do them multiple, multiple times, because it's not hard me just going, like, you know, like, it's literally not hard at all, so then, 
when I'm done, I'm literally done with it all. So it's like quite easy and I could just leave the camera there the whole time and I don't have to touch it. So that's one thing I would say is just do lots of them if you're gonna do them like this. But yeah, I basically go and save the audios and then I just kind of like rest it on the tripod on like the ring light and I press the plane and I quickly like stand back and do the audio and then I kind of start to remember the audio in my head so I don't have to listen to it as much and then I'll just keep on doing it and keep on doing it and then I'll quickly change and then I'll get back and I'll do the other half and then I'll do the ones that are just strictly in the outfits so that's kind of how I do them and if you're somebody that like does what I do and you are struggling to find TikTok audios and if you've not already used all the ones that I'm doing, literally just go onto my page. And I'm trying to hook the bottom part of the camera no, to go onto the tripod. But literally, if you are somebody that does what I do or just want to do what I do, go and to my page and just save all my audios. I, like, do it because I've like I've searched for these, so oh, so you may as well go and use mine. Okay, so this is how I have it. Um, there's nothing else that I would really change, I don't think, so I'll be about here. As you can see, there's a lot of headroom, but sometimes I do, like, zoom them in or zoom, not can't zoom them out, but, like, sometimes I just leave them like this with all that bloody headroom, because if I'm doing, like, the jumpy ones, I need room, I don't want to be going off the screen. But I just realised I haven't finished my hair, so I'm going to go and just add a bit more curls, because I like it more, like, curled around my face, so I'm going to go do that, and then you'll see me doing the TikTok. <laughs> So I did just film all of the parts for the clove part and I had quite a lot today that weren't me going to things so I'm now going to go and change and film the other part. I like get so out of breath for all like the jumping and stuff but I'm finally done. I only chose to do two outfits but I feel like I got a lot so I'm going to go in and then I then plug this into my, I take the SD card, put it into my laptop and I then uh, drop it to either my iPad or my phone just so I can then edit it on splice I just like being able to like touch it and stuff and then I can instantly just upload it from my phone I just use the laptop to get it on my phone basically or the iPad so let's go do that so what you're going to see here is basically how I get the clips together so if I go okay I'm going to go edit this TikTok that matches with this audio I'll go in to that original file and I will find that I will either do it by listening or I can also see like as you can see this is one where I'm pulling off the shirt so that one is quite obvious so I'll go in I'll find the one where I'm pulling off the shirt for the start clip with me wearing it and then with me pulling it off I'll go in and I'll cut them down and I'll bring it into splice with the audio as you can see I'm now in splice and I'm like trying to perfectly get the clips that I need so I would go in and then like cut out the start and like the ends like I would make sure it lined perfectly with the other clip that it's going with and I will then bring it up and I overlay it with the audio so these two go on top but obviously the audio goes on the bottom so you can see it and it's not just a black screen so then I go in and I'm making all these cuts and they kind of just kind of just follow the motion so if I'm like you know pulling it off I make sure I put the t-shirt there obviously which is already filmed I just make sure I cut at the similar pull so it like looks right and then as you can see here this is the part where I'm bringing it up to see if it matches so let's just see how this one goes. Oh, look like I pulled over a bit too far there. We're just going back and then we try to line it up and then we'll go back and we will watch it to see if it, well, obviously there we go, we're cropping it in. We'll just see if it fits. So then we just give it a watch, see how it goes, see if it matches up with the audio because obviously we're not doing the audio straight up like ourselves, like we're like going in and putting it over. So obviously we've got to see if that one matches. And then it does, so that's always so fun.
so yes that is how i make and how i edit my tiktoks i hope you enjoyed it was something a bit different for me but i thought i may as well because ever since i started making these even though i already had about 18k followers on that account i hadn't posted on there in, in like a lot of months so i was a bit worried going back into it that with it being an old account and they only had one community guideline violation which was on a try on haul so i appealed that and it got put back up so typically when you get community violations your account sort of gets like you you can t you can tell that it doesn't get as many views but going back and appealing that and it obviously getting put back up because it wasn't bad at all and then um yeah not personal there in a while i was a bit worried but yeah, as i said i appealed it and i started making like you know this high quality content and i i started posting five days ago I got 20k followers my highest viewed is nearly at 500k so if you're wanting to get results like this i think it's a very um good one to follow if you obviously have the equipment i'm filming on a canon g7x mark three and it's just a basic ring light it's 18 inches it's nice and tall and it's big and what i do is i upload three tiktoks a day three hours apart i literally have a timer on my phone right now which, which is at seven minutes so in seven minutes when that goes off i'll be uploading my second tiktok of the day so yeah three tiktoks a day three hours apart i kind of upload one when i first wake up and go from there i've not really noticed a specific time or anything but i'll, sh I'll pop up all of my current tiktoks and their views and stuff for you to see but if you want to follow this it's definitely a good one if you're looking for tiktok audios if you're creating content like me go to my page take all of mine literally do it and i hope that this helped i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you later